Now, approximately 30,000 Kenyans have been displaced by floods, according to the Kenya Red Cross Society. People living in flood-prone areas have been warned to move to safer grounds, as the Kenya Meteorological Department says the heavy rains are set to continue. Humanitarian organizations are warning that the levels of water will rise above capacity as the rains are expected to intensify in the coming days. Well, thousands have already been displaced after their homes were submerged. Nature's fury continues to rage on, wreaking havoc in most parts of the country. The Kenya Red Cross Society putting the number of homes destroyed this far at 5,000. The people displaced at 30,000. The past weeks have seen the side effects of heavy rains claiming lives. Major rivers are now full, threatening to break their banks. In Tana River, for instance, people have been forced to flee homes amid the looming danger that the river poses. In Kericho River, Kipsonoi broke its banks and overtopped the Mugeni Bridge between Sotik and Chebilat along the Kisi Kaplong Road, with Kenna cordoning off the section and directing motorists to use the Sotik Roret Road. Last time in Busia, Hajula location has been the most affected with over 7,000 people displaced. Residents want the government to move with speed to help them. In his speech, President Uhuru Kenyatta mourned the lives of 29 Kenyans lost in El Geo Maraquet and West Pokot, saying the government has mobilized the resources, including rescue personnel from various security and humanitarian agencies. And my administration continues to make every effort to support affected families and communities across the country. Those displaced are either integrated in communities or neighboring villages or are living in temporary shelters. Most are victims of flooding that occurred last year.